today we got something a little different for you the Feiyu G4 you can kind of call it a case for your GoPro it is encased inside it but what it is is a gimbal so you can get all the straight shots without any shake so let's check it out Ash catch let's first take a look at what comes inside the box as there are some important things to note get the G4 gimbal, extra pins that hold the GoPro in, batteries and chargers, a standard USB cable, a USB adapter, and some paperwork. One thing to know about the USB adapter, its purpose is to update the G4 and to be used whenever you connect it to the computer. It's advised not to connect without it. I'll show you how to set this up with your GoPro. You'll need two batteries and make sure your GoPro mount is installed. Twist the bottom portion off, slide the batteries in, and you're good to go. Make sure you update everything beforehand as well. Loosen the screws so there's enough space to slide the GoPro in, then tighten them evenly on both ends. The power button is located on the bottom, a single white button to change modes, and the USB interface on the front to connect your computer. That's it. Taking a look at the G4, you've got the heading axis which controls horizontal movement, the pitch axis controls vertical movement, and the final roll axis which stabilizes from rotation. There are a few modes, the first is double clicking, this causes the G4 to follow only your horizontal and vertical movements. A single press will freeze the vertical movement and allow for horizontal movements only. Three clicks go into inversion mode and the GoPro gets flipped so you can get better low shots while riding a skateboard or on a bike. Hold it for about 2 seconds and it will lock all directions only pointing in one spot. And of course clicking 4 times will just reset all modes and go into a default mode. So what's a guy like me who doesn't skateboard, snowboard, ski, do anything extreme other than sit down all day doing with a GoPro? Well I use the vlog and it's a great camera because it's so small I can just pull it out whenever put it back whenever. So I'm gonna show you how I use this gimbal for vlogging and we're gonna do some tests to see if it's better than just not having it or using a simple hand grip. Let's check it out. Our first comparison, handheld versus the Feiyu. Let's check it out. So these first two shots address some panning. You can clearly see the shake in the handheld version. Now with some walking, every step I take, the camera shakes a bit. Holding it above me, this causes me to use a little muscle, which again will cause shake when handheld. This is just walking forward with it pointing in front of me. A crane-like shot of the plant. And then one of the building, it's difficult staying in a straight line. A pan in front of me with a bridge, you can achieve a constant horizon line. Oh, that's me. And now for some action shots, here's some jumping, and then some running. running. You can be the judge on how well the shots compare. Next up, the Feiyu versus the GoPro 3-way hand grip. To start, some simple panning again, held above and below me. You can already see the reduction in shake with the grip. Another action shot with some jumping. Some crane shots from the ground to the horizon line. Even a little wind will throw off the grip as well. And just a typical vlog angle. But you can be the judge for yourself to see if this is worth it for you. As a vlogger, those are the two main methods you're gonna use when out vlogging with a GoPro, either handheld or with a hand grip but you can clearly see the improvement in quality, uh, the reduction in shake, the straight shots, you know, it just it's just amazing. Definitely one of my favorite ways to shoot is, because I love backpacks so much and walking around with them, as most people would do with backpacks, handlebar mount, peak design capture clip, best vlogging setup. Let's do this.
The shot looks fairly smooth. You are getting the walking movements, but this angle is great for when you're traveling and you want to share what you're seeing in a night market or just in a monumental building thing. It does stick out a bit, but it stays firm in place with the capture clip, something I definitely recommend combining with the G4. That's it. The only real downside we have is cost and storage. This thing costs over $400, so it's not a toy you should buy just for fun. And well, storing it, it's like storing a monopod or a selfie stick. It sticks out of your pocket, I guess when you throw in your bag, but the gimbal axes are very fragile, so if you do break it, you're pretty much f I picked this up over at Seamall Canada at, on Amazon.ca. If you're in Canada, do check them out there because they do provide four batteries with it, which you won't get in American bundles because they can't ship batteries overseas. For $400, it is a little pricey, but you are getting that much more improved, better, good shot as you've seen throughout the video. It's definitely not for everyone, but it's great for steady shots when you're in an active environment, like mountain biking, you can stick it onto your chest, or as you see, I can easily use it during vlogging. Um, you can get some great cinematic shot, panning, zooming, um, and just tilting the three functions that it has. So do check it out at Seamal Canada on amazon.ca. That's it.